So today we are learning chapter 1, number bases. In this chapter, we will learn about base 10, base 2, 8 and 5. The two main subtopics here are converting bases and addition and subtraction of the bases. We will start with the basic understanding. The numbers that we use daily are in base 10. Base 2 has only two digits which are 0 and 1. Base 5 has 5 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and base 8 has 8 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now we'll learn how to find the value of a digit of a number in base 2, 8 and 5. First of all, we'll start with base 2. For example, number 1, 0 in base 2. And we'll find the, num the value of number 1 in this number. So first, we can first list down the place value. 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1. And then we can write up digit out and the value will be place value times the digit so we'll get 2 to the power of 1 times 1 and 2 is the final answer so the value of 1 in 1 0 base 2 is 2 we'll try base 5 so let me erase it first. Okay, we now have an example. 4, 0, 3, 1 in base 5. And we want to find the value of 4 in this number. So we will first list down. But in this case, the place value will be in 5 to the power of 0, 5 to the power of 1, 5 to the power of 2, and 5 to the power of 3 Okay, we'll then list down the digit 4, 0, 3, 1 Like in base 2, the value will be the place value times with the digit So, the value of 4 will be 4 times 5 to the power of 3 And you will get the final answer here this will apply the same as in base 8, it's just that the number 5 here will change to 8. What is expanded notation? Expanded notation is sum of the value of the digit. Just now we have learned that the value of a digit in the number is place value times with the digit. So now expanded notation is the sum of all the value of the digit in the number. So for example, we have 4, 2, 5, base 10. Expanded notation will be 4 times 10 to the power of 2 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 1 plus 5 times 10 to the power of 0. This is the expanded notation. And then you can find out the value. Now we'll learn how to convert bases into another basis. First of all, we'll convert base 2, 8 and 5 to base 10. The steps is pretty easy as we just learned what is expanded notation. First, we'll write it in expanded notation. And the second thing is just to add up all the value. It's easy and I don't, I don't think we need an example for this. And next will be slightly harder which is converting base 10 to base 2 8 and 5 so there are also two steps here first is do repeated deviation until the quotient is zero and second is write number in new base by reading the remainder from the bottom to the top okay let's look at example here example will be convert 1, 3, 4 in base 10 into a number in base 5. So first we'll do repeated division. Let's write up 1, 3, 4. Oops. 1, 3, 4 divided by 5. We get 26 with the remainder of 4. We'll write the remainder at the bottom, at the, at the side. Next, we we'll divide again. We get 5 times 5, we get 25. So we have the remainder of 1 here. 
Next, we divide by 5 again. We get 1, remainder of 0 here. And we do divide again until we get a 0 here. So the remainder will be 1. So the, va the value will be 1, 0, 1, 4 in base 5. So next, we will learn how to convert base 2, 8 and 5 to one another. It's basically the same, it's just that we have one extra step. First, we'll convert the number into base 10 and then we'll do repeated division and then lastly, write the number in new space by reading the remainder from bottom to the top. It's basically the same as the last example we did. It's just that first of all, we need to convert the number into base 10. Subtopic addition and subtraction is basically the same as what we normally do. It's just that we always remember that the, max, the maximum digit for base 2 is 1 which means that anything in base 2 any digit in base 2 can only be 0 or 1 we'll do one example here 1 0 1 base 2 plus 1 1 0 in base 2 we'll do what we normally do So 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1. So now look at this. 1 plus 1, we get 2, right? But then the digit, the maximum digit is only can be can only be 1 here. So put 0 and put 1 in front instead. So the final value will be 1, 0, 1, 1 in base 2. So it will be same as base 5 and base 8. Eight is just that the maximum, the largest digit in base 5 can only be 4 and the largest digit in base 8 can only be 7.